Okay, I've been asked to show you how to set up a quick scavenger hunt using QR codes as opposed to using traditional methods. Excuse the kids in the background. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to this website here, docs.google.com slash forms. There might be some sign up stuff, I can't remember being honest, um, but it will work nonetheless. Now, there's a few aspects to it. So what you do is once you get in here and you're signed up and you have the ability to create a form, you create a new form. So we're going to give it a name. So, scavenger Hunt 25. Now, what you can do, you can put a form description here. Many fifth point of the scavenger hunt. Okay, so you can choose to put your question in here, you can type in what you want, so group name. Okay, and it tells you you can put a short answer, you can have multiple choice if you want. So if you do have limited names for the group, you can sort of pre-select them. It's not too important, but there's lots of bits and pieces here. I mean, you can create a quiz, for example, if you want to, you know. And, you know, it gives you the choice of is it a number. So, yeah, we can make it a number. We'll change it across to, you know, date or, you know, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so you probably want to use short answer here. And they'll give you a name or an age and things like that. And they can choose to put it in. Um, you can create a second question on the front page. Oops. Your name. You have to excuse me. It'll often choose the best one for you. And you know, uh, scout group. If it's a scout group one. So now we'll change it across to multiple choice. So option one. When they point. Okay. You can also create a second page. So Create a section, so new section, page, and we'll add a question onto this one. Of course, nobody knows what that one is. That one gets you thrown off the ditch, and we're going to make that a short answer. Beautiful. Now, once we've got this all set up, it's actually pretty easy. You can press send. And then it'll come up here, and you can actually choose to make a link. You can also use a short URL. So if you use a short URL, you can take a copy and paste of it. And then we go across to here, and we are going to use QR code generator. Don't worry, you can just Google QR code generator. You chuck that in there, and press create QR code. And you hit download. It's going to open up this silly thing. They're doing some advertising. They got to pay their bills. If you give it a few seconds, and it'll pop up down in the bottom left here. The download. There we go. So you can open that up, and as you see, we've generated a QR code that relates directly to the questions that we've asked. Now let's go back into here. So. Let's go and open up another web page. And basically, in principle, if you open that up, it'll ask you the questions. So, how are you? 35 years in Wayland Bay. I don't know how to type. Beautiful. Then we hit submit, and it's going to fire off a response. You can also modify the back-end response on this, so you might find that once they've answered the questions, um, you can give them a different destination that they have to go to or anything like that. We come back into this side, so we'll hit close, and you'll now see that we've actually got a response. So you might have seen me sitting down on the uh, iPad reviewing all the responses to make certain they come through. Um, this comes through as a group. So the summary, and that'll just list all in order. So I was just simply using the first page on mine that said, you know, this is budge, this is this, that, that, and the other. Otherwise, you can go through individuals, and it opens up individuals to a page, and you can actually scan through one at a time. Once you've got the QR code generated, what I use, I use Microsoft Word. 
to get about 24 of them onto a single page. So we'll go across here, I'll open up a blank document. So I'll go into download, excuse the amount of rubbish I have on this computer. And what we'll do is we'll pull 24 of them onto one page, like that. So there's, 20, there's 23 of them lined up there, it's not enough, that's okay. Then you go to file print. I used sticky paper, um, so pre-adhesive stuff that you could buy for 11 bucks from um, Officeworks. Just buy a sheet of that and you hit print. And of course, you don't have to print them all on one page per sheet. You can put four pages per sheet. And so we'll print that to PDF, just so you can see what the basic format looks like. So we'll hit print. And two, and I'll come across to documents. And in principle, this is what it looks like if I got it all right. So you just print off that, cut them out, tell somebody to go and put them everywhere, and out they go to put them, and yeah. In principle, you can set up 25 questions in about 45 minutes if you know what you're doing. That's a bit of a lazy way. If you go back to here, you can hit this button up here, and you can press make a copy. And we'll call it scavenger hunt 26. Okay. Now, so we'll change the title of it. It pulls a bit of a trick on you there. So scavenger Hunt 26. And it's all saved, so we can hit send. Hit another QR code here. We'll use the short URL. Copy that. Go back to QR code generator. Generate another QR code. Hit create. There's your next QR code. Hit download. You wait a moment. And that comes up with frame 25, which is the next one in the sequence. Uh, if you want to go a little bit deeper into Google Forms, we'll go back. We'll leave that one there for the moment. So we can create a oh, I'll go back. I've got one pre-prepped here. It was meant to happen, but never ended up actually happening. Um, so some integrations require you to, um, so for example, this is the camp out form. This is actually the sign up form that we use. And it did a beautiful job on our behalf because what it did is it collated all the data that we received from every single applicant. And we can actually download it as a CSV format. And we'll open that. And we'll open that. Okay. And you'll see this is actually one I modified a little bit earlier. And yeah, you could just literally hit print and you have a list of every bit of data that you've collected off that form. Which meant, of course, we didn't have to sit there getting people to sign up or anything like that. Um, so I'll save on that one. I still want to get those later. But if we go back again, I'm just trying to find the quiz that I've set up. So. That's probably that one. No. Uh, no, that's just spam. I promise you if I get tuck loads of that. <laughs> come on. This is what happens when you come back to Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! This is going to take a while. This is getting embarrassing. Okay, sorry about that. Now let's try. 
you can, for example, use the commands to require people to upload a uh, photo. So you can actually force people to upload an image or a drawing or a presentation, a PDF or a video or anything like that. Um, generally, it doesn't work very well. Uh, I've got to find out where I put the damn quiz. Choose a template, blank quiz. So, for example, you can um, uh, use for my scouts. Of course, you can sometimes collect two bits of data together. It requires them to get a correct answer. So, first question might be. Uh, who was the founder of the scouting movement? And so, option one, King Richard III. Lord Lagan Paul. Lord Lagan Paul. Group. No, 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 no. I don't know. Beautiful. So you can actually assign values and the answer key. You can click answer key and you can mark this one as correct. And it's worth one point. You can make it worth 10 points. Beautiful. And then you go back to add a question. Now we can add another question. Um, but instead of adding it on a, on the main page, you can add a second page. Um, generally, multiple choice is better. Instead of using them, so you can use Manjadar. So, for example, Manjadar. Stained. Break the seal. No, and then we go down and we set an answer key. And we make that one correct, and that one gets one point. Beautiful. So we'll add another section, and you might find no. So I keep on actually putting in the wrong subsection. So let's make it multiple choice again. If not, and instead of making it multiple choice, you make it check boxes. Um, and so, yeah. girls, are you ready for dance class? Good. So go to there. Some of these are not correct, so we give them one point for each one that they know, that they should know. Beautiful. And go back to edit question. So, now what we can do is, well, let's just load this one up. Another different one. So, of course, let's go to Lord Bacon Powell next. Where was the first one held? Brexit Island. So, no, Reef Nodge, Bing, Bob Line, Figure Eight. So, let's have a view of the score. So, you got one of one, one of one, and one of one. You can make them worth four points and things like that. Yeah. 
So there's a few tricks up your sleeve on how to use Google Forms to make life easier to, you know, get kids and sometimes parents involved. Um, other tricks that we've used, for example, is you might want to integrate so maps google.com. So if you want to, for example, you can choose to use satellite view. You guys ready for dance class? I'm ready. Beautiful. So you might want to tell your kids to get in a boat and sail right to this jetty here. And you hide a QR code right on that jetty there. So you click this point here. And we'll uh, now we share. So that's that's the short link to it. So for example, on scavenger hunt twenty-six, actually go. So let's create a completely new one just to show you a little bit more because well we're going here. I'll give you a short answer. I've got to work out how to get the final response correct. And then you might put the back page as that. So let's go, let's use that link. So for example, you go here, put in that link. No way, that's the long form. And the group name, Mark. Beautiful, you can hit submit, and then it's going to tell you where the next destination is. And if you hit that button, it's going to redirect us across to. Who are you talking to? There. I'm just making a video from one of the dads. So there's a few ideas for what you can use. Let's say you guys have got sailboats, so you can literally tell kids to sail from point to point and just set out a whole bunch of QR codes discreetly hidden around the place and, yeah, make the kids sail around for five hours straight trying to find the locations they have to get to and, yeah, enjoy the challenge of it. Okay, I'll leave you with it and have a think of what you can do. Take it easy. Mate.